Good, 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 good. Uh, I gotta get you to do the intro for me on this. But I didn't do that though. I, I knew you should. Right. Anyway, all right. Example three. This is 1.4 trigonometry, and we're identifying the quadrant of an angle. Now. Think about this. Remember how I had you guys write down this, what was on the board right here? I had you write it down the other day, right? Say yes. Yes. Okay, you guys wrote it down. So what quadrants is sine going to be greater than zero? First. And? One in three. One in two, right? Okay, because sine, those are positive numbers that are greater than zero, right? Yeah. Less than zeros are, say negative. negative. Negative numbers. Less than zero is negative, greater than zero is positive. So for this one right here, for sine greater than zero, we said one and two, right? Yeah. Now, where is tangent going to be less than zero? Now, think about tangent. Tangent is y and x. For those to actually come out to be a negative, what has to happen? One of them has to be positive. One negative, one positive, right? One negative, one positive. So which quadrants do I have? One negative, one positive. Two, two and four. Two and four. So these ones are going to be two and four. Huh? Tangent is what over what? Y over X. Tangent is Y over X. Now let's look at our circle right here. Y over X. So right here, Y over X. So it's a positive and a negative. That one's negative. Over here, it's a negative and a positive. That one is negative. So quadrant two and four are the only ones. Now, which one is satisfying both of these? Quadrant two. So my answer for this is quadrant two. I don't understand that at all. What? Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, speak. Say. No, no, no. Bro. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, I need you to actually articulate your misunderstanding. I don't understand the sine of theta with the greater than zero. Okay, all right, so you're ready. What numbers are greater than zero? Positive. Positive, thank you. You, you agree? Positive? Oh, and po okay. 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 And these ones right here, on my unit circle, if you're looking, so for those people watching at home, positive, positive, this is a negative and a positive, this is a negative, negative, and this is positive, negative, right? Yeah. So, for sine greater than zero, I need it to be positive. The sine values are positive. Remember, sine is which values? The y, right? Okay, the y over r, and r is always positive, right? Okay, so where are the y values positive here? So quadrant one. There we go. Here's three. And this is four. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what we're looking for. So now, did I answer all your guys' questions with that same thing? Okay, is there is everyone all right now? Yeah. Okay, I got yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. A anyone still hung up before I go on? So why has to be positive too? What do you mean? You said why has to be positive for the sign. No, for this one, yeah, right here. So this is where I was asking for this one right here. Where sign is going to be positive, right? Okay. All right, so this next one. This next one. I'll change colors so you guys know which ones I'm going to do. Now, cosine. This says, where is cosine less than zero? When it's negative, right? And cosine is which value, the x or the y? It is the x. So where is the x value going to be negative? Three. Two and three. Two and three, right? Two and three. So I'm going to write those out. So it's going to be quadrant two, and it's going to be quadrant three. Where is secant? going to be less than zero. Now, secant, if you guys remember, secant was what over what? R over X, right? R over X. And for these, 
r over x, I'm just using 1 because on a unit circle, my radius is always 1. Okay, so it's basically saying r is positive. Where is secant going to be negative at? Where x is negative, right? Very good. Where x is negative. So on this one, where is x going to be negative? 2 and 3. So my answer is going to be quadrant 2 and 3. Okay. I heard wait. Go ahead. R is the radius, right? And the radius cannot be negative because the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge. Are we okay? Uh-huh. You feeling good now? Yeah. All right. So, blah, 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 range. Okay. All right. Now, let's take a look at this. Possible or impossible? Okay. Now, I need to write each one of these as a fraction. I'm going to write each one of these a fraction. Now, I'm going to go back a little bit, and let's talk about a right triangle. I have my y value, I have my x value, and I have my r value. In my Pythagorean theorem, which one should be the longest? The r. The r. R is always the longest in my Pythagorean theorem, right? Say yes. Yeah. Very good. So it's always going to be the largest. So when I'm doing all this trig, R always has to be the largest, right? Because yeah. it's the exact same thing I am doing. So now let's take a look at this one right here. 2.5. 2.5. Can I write that as a fraction? Yeah. Yes. So what would I do to make that one into a fraction? There's, there's one simple thing I can do. Do what? Round it up. Put a one under it. Put a one under it, right? All numbers could be over one, right? All numbers over one, right? Now, class. Yes. Sign represents what? Sine represents what? Sine is y over r, right? Y over r. So y over r. So in this case, which one's the largest? Y. Y over r. Which one's the longest? Y. Y is. So that means that this is going to be impossible. Oh, that's so easy. Class, yes. what is tangent? Uh, y over x. So y over x. Now, can I write this number right here? Can I write it? Yes. What am I going to do to write it as a fraction? Now, which one has to be the largest? R has to be the largest, right? Yeah. So, okay, so what does that mean? No. Huh? It's possible. It's possible because the only one I have restriction on is my R. Tangent's okay. Cotangent's okay. I just know that the R always has to be the largest, right? So that one's all going to be all right. Okay, so now. 0.6. Can I write that as a fraction? Mm -hmm. no. Yes. Over one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Over one. That that works out. Over one. What is secant? R over y. Oh wait. Secant is what? R over. X. Thank you. R over X. Oh no. Which one's the largest? X is larger here, right? Yeah. Because it's 0.6 or 1. So that means that the 
one is bigger, so this one right here is going to be impossible. impossible. Are we okay with that? Okay. Suppose angle theta is in quadrant two. Okay. So, class, what do I know about quadrant two? Quadrant two is negative. Negative positive, very good, right? I don't. I'm not hearing much cooperation from from this side of the classroom. From this spot right here. Okay. Quadrant two. What do you know? Negative positive. Very good. So in that negative positive, and we know that sine is going to be this. Now, class, yes. sine is what? Sine is y over r. Y over r. So my y value here is? Two. My r value is? Three. My x value is? Uh, I don't know yet. Now. Is there a way to do this? Because if I know that this is going to be in quadrant two, I know it's going to look something like this. So this is going to be two, this is three, and this is my x value, right? So whenever I'm dealing with this, sine, cosine, and tangent, I'm always dealing with right angles. I'm always dealing with right angles, so therefore I can always use the Pythagorean theorem here. So. My Pythagorean theorem. So now, how would I set up this Pythagorean theorem? X squared R squared, like that. Yeah. Now, it's not in your notes like this, but I'm doing it anyway. So, especially those people are not paying attention. Okay. So, let's see. X squared plus 2 squared. X squared plus 4 equals 9 minus 4 equals Now, this next piece is going to be algebra. And a lot of people are going to screw this up. Square root, right? Now, it's a plus or minus. Because if you square a negative, won't that become positive? Okay, so it's going to be a plus or minus right here. So, it said that this is supposed to be in quadrant 2. So what do we know about the x value in quadrant 2? It's negative. So what answer do I put right here? Negative rad 5, right? Now, so we start off with sine, so we have to find the other five trigonomic functions. So it goes two, three. So y was two, r is three, x is negative rad five. So we already have sine, so what's cosine? Theta. Cosine is x over r. Theta. Theta. So it's going to be? Negative rad 5. Okay, tangent. Alright, so I can't have that radical in the denominator, so I have to rationalize. Multiply rad 5 over rad 5. So that's going to give me a, I'm going to put the negative out front, 2 rad 5 over 5, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's, next one is going to be, let's go uh, cosecant. What is cosecant? R over y. So my R is? Three, my y is two. Secant. So it's going to be r over x, so two over negative rad five, right? So I have to rationalize again, don't I? 
Oh, well, there should be a three here. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Sorry. All right. And so that's a three right there. So R over, yeah, there we go. All right, so rationalize. So it's going to be rad five over rad five. So it's going to give me a negative out front, three rad five over five. The last one's going to be cotangent. So cotangent theta is going to be x over y. So negative rad five over two. Okay, so they sketched it just like I did. They went through, showed it. You had to start by finding all those. Okay, these identities. Okay, these identities. We're going to go through and find these out because this is your sine is your y squared plus cosine, which is x squared, equals 1. 1 on all your identities. Your radius is always going to be 1. Like I said, with the unit circle, your radius is going to be 1. So, okay, we do these ones. Sine over cosine is tangent. Okay, so now, find sine, okay, find sine and tangent given that cosine is going to be negative rad 3 over 4, and sine is going to be greater than 0. Okay. First, let's start with that cosine. Let's break down the cosine. We know cosine theta is what over what? X over R. So my X value is going to be what? Negative rad, three. negative rad 3, right? Why is the negative not going with the 4? Because that's your R. That's your R, and your R is never negative. So R, what's my R going to be? Four. four. What am I missing? Five. So what do I have to do from here? Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. So it's going to be negative rad 3 squared plus y squared equals my r, which is 4 squared. So I need to go through and start doing my math. So what do we get here? Three, right? Because it takes care of the negative and it goes against the radical. Plus y squared equals 16 minus three from both sides. Y squared is 13. Y equals plus or minus square root of 13. Now, I have plus or minus, but now what does this information right here give me? Is positive, right? Yeah. Greater than zero, so that means it's positive. So right here at this plus or minus, I know it has to be positive, so it's going to be a positive rad 13. Yep, so sine is rad 13 over 4 and tangent rad 13 over negative rad 3 okay I don't like having that radical in the bottom so I have to rationalize that part So it's going to be a square root of 39 over, so it's negative square root of 39 over positive 3. I did the sign, and I just did tangent. That's this one right here. Are we okay? Questions? You guys got a question, you got to ask them now. Mm -mm. Find sine and cosine given that tangent is this over this. Theta is in quadrant three. 
Okay. What do we know about tangent? Y over X. Y over X. So my Y value is? Four. And my X value is? Three. But if it's in quadrant three, what do we know about quadrant three? Both negative. Is it possible to have a positive 4 over 3 if they're both negative? Yes. Yeah, because two negatives make a positive, don't they? Yeah. Two negatives make a positive, so that's why my tangent in quadrant 3 is going to be positive. So what's missing here? R, right? Got to find the R. So it's going to be R equals the square root of negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared square root of 9 plus 16 square root of 25 r is 5 so it's asking for sine so sine negative 4 over 5 and cosine Uh, okay, watch this. It leaves a pen right there, and it's kind of awkward when you're trying to read it. And so I move it over here so it's not in the way. Sit up, girl. Get that pencil. Come on. You can sleep in your English class. I don't like you do anything there. <laughs> Okay, so there's all that. Okay. That's it. Now, questions over any of that stuff? Are we good? Now, I'm going to try and give you guys the next 10 minutes. Okay, you guys work on this stuff. Don't just sit there and screw around. Do some of your homework. I started grading you guys' homework, and I had some people not do much of anything. Okay, I need to yell at someone also because I can't read anything that they said. Huh? No, I know you're chicken scratch. I recognize your stuff. This is. Chicken scratch. Oh, not even. No. Worse. I bet I can read it. Yeah, I can read it. What's that say? Well, it's from far away. I don't have my contact. Nayim. Nayim. Who's that name? That's you? Yeah, that's you. Nero. No, it's Nero. Yeah. Is that what that says? Yeah. Bro, do me a favor. I gotta read it. And I can't read most of this right here. It's all because it's smushed. Uh, it, then don't make it smush. No, Fix it. Okay? I'm gonna accept it right now, but not next time. Okay. Okay? No. someone from. Christopher. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is 7th hour, right? Yeah. Okay, 7th hour goes there. Okay. Uh, maybe. I know. I someone Yeah, I'm one out, Mr. Uh, zero hour. You are? Yeah, I'm one out. So zero hour. It gets to me later on in the day, and yesterday. I went to, gym with the, to the gym with uh, my friend, and we did the same exact workouts and weight training as we did in, uh, as we did in the gym. Right there. Um, I'm actually, are you talking about this stuff? Yeah, the stuff that I graded? I haven't stamped these yet. So I graded these, I just didn't stamp them.
Excuse me, Eli. Are you over at your seat doing your work right now? I guess you need one of those little Why are you going to lie to me? Please go to your seat and work on your work. Yes. Right there. Damn yourself. Which is going out pile. Yes, one three should be due today. So if you're done with it, here, thank you. Bam, right there, both parts. Oh wait, no, this is eighth hour that I have to do. Hey, thing one and thing two. I'm giving you time to work. Please use it. everything. Uh, Rochelle, you're missing everything. Wait, like, Estrada. Yes, Guess what? Nice okay, you know the thing I just signed? Don't make me revoke that. You just turned in stuff, right? Yeah, I still need to sign, it. I need to sign the thing. I'm going to plan for success. Okay. Carlos! What's up? You haven't turned anything. No. Nothing. What? Nothing. Whole week. Haven't turned in anything. Good job. Car smoke. Mister, I turned in stuff. No, you didn't. I turned in stuff. Hmm? Oh, the, yeah. No. Yeah, you're fine. I'm talking to Carlos. Yeah, you turned in stuff. Yeah, I turned in stuff. Yeah, you 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 turned in stuff. Yeah,